Okay, so here's something I'm gonna try different this time. I usually use the tongue and groove boards for the walls uh, and to help fabricate the back doors. I usually use those tongue and groove boards. Well, this time, um, what I've done, I decided to go a little bit different route. What I've got is this, this plywood that's got a rough sawn uh, four inch on center pattern on it, right? It'd be like something you would use for paneling a, uh, a shop, you know, those portable buildings or something like that. So this is four by eight piece. And what I've done is I've got, cause I got two walls there and there. I bought four of them, right? And because I want to have this pattern on the inside and the outside, just for aesthetic value, what I've done is I got four of them and I'm gluing them back to back. So on the other side of this is just a flat plywood, right? And then what I've done is the piece underneath this, I flipped over to where the flat plywood was up, the pattern was down, and so it'll be back to back pattern when it's all done. And what I did is I, I put wood glue all over the place on this thing and then uh, I've clamped it. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And then what I'll do is I'll cut out, cut it to fit. And then, um, you know, so I got four pieces. So I got essentially, I'm gonna make two pieces out of the four. So um, I'll let it sit, you know, dry. And then I will cut what I need, fit it in there and uh, we'll see how it goes and then I'll stain it. And it should provide the same look as the tongue and groove, you know, the three quarter inch tongue and groove boards, you know, or I say three quarter inch, one by's, you know, one by five, one by six tongue and grooves, but it'll actually be sturdier and uh, we'll have no, no weak spots in it as far as gaps or places to come loose, even though I glue those two, you know, it has a tendency to be a little, uh, little tough to deal with. So I'm gonna try that, we'll see how it goes. All right, so it worked out pretty good. I let it sit overnight. These two pieces are now one with this same pattern on both sides. And I've measured this opening and I cut it to fit here. And now I'm gonna put it in there, see how it fits up. All right, so I tried dry fitting it already. I need to trim off a little bit more on one end. We'll see how this fits. like I need to trim this up just a hair right here but the rest of it all looks good I almost forced that in there but I don't want to do that so as you can see that's that's a lot faster and it will have the same look as the um, tongue and groove but with, it's actually gonna be sturdier cause it's gonna be one solid piece of wood instead of a bunch of five and a half inch pieces of wood there. So it actually looks really good, I'm really pleased. Let me show you what the other side looks like. We'll take a look at it. Oh yeah, see, look at that. See, we got that pattern. And once this thing is stained, that's, I really like that, uh, I really like this concept. I'm gonna stain it a nice dark stain. 
I like that it's sturdier. Sometimes that, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, sometimes that uh, other stuff, the tongue and groove, can be a little bit brittle and just the way it gets kind of warped and the boards and everything, it's just kind of makes you, I mean, I, I feel a lot more confident about this, especially once it all gets bolted in and secured. This is gonna be a lot more solid deal. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get this other piece cut up. I'm gonna get this trimmed up just a hair. I'm gonna get this other piece cut up and to fit over here. And then the walls will be in, man, that's, this is a lot easier to manage and deal with than tongue and groove. I'm just gonna be honest with you. And it's not only, not only is it easier to deal with, easier to manage, easier to handle. Um, it's gonna be sturdier because it's gonna be essentially, I mean, if you've ever handled a three quarter inch piece of plywood, it's sturdy. That's, a, that's what I've created. Right, it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood because these pieces are fused together now and they're also gonna be bolted together and this is, this is gonna be sturdy. So as you can see, I did the same thing like this side, the same thing over here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this little gap. And then I'll also use some leftover pieces like that piece. We'll fill in here. And I've got some leftover pieces that I use to uh, frame out that door. And maybe, we'll see what I have here. I might have enough to actually frame out that, that door too. But so, this is what you end up with. This is not, this is before it's stained, you know, but you get that solid wall, no gaps, no, no place for air to come in. I mean, as far as like, uh, or, or water to seep into. Once this is stained and sealed, this is gonna be like a solid wall. It's, it's man, it's worked out so good. I got my wall boards. Remember, uh, I used this uh, siding or paneling, doubled it up and glued it together. And then I've stained it with this Valspar. It's a, basically a deck stain that stains and seals. Um, this is a Wellington Brown is the color of this. So it's a really dark brown. It contrasts really well with the white. So I've got this part in, I'm putting this piece in, right? So I'm just gonna put it in the groove there and then flush against this side. Then I'll show you the finished product. seams in this all right that's what i like about this idea this concept is there's no seams which is great all right and i'll trim it up you know so it'll have a little bit cleaner look so there won't be any gaps around it it'll be a nice clean look and i'll also put a couple carriage bolts in there um to tie it to those um those that flat bar that goes up and down so i'll show you kind of around the sides here this is you see how it kind of looks? It looks like the tongue and groove, right? Looks like the tongue and groove. This side too, look at that. Looks like I put tongue and groove in there. It's actually one solid piece of wood, so check this out. This is what it looks like. Look at that. This is one solid piece of plywood. That's one solid piece of plywood. That's when it's all this close. Look what the other side looks like. See, man, that looks great. Let's see here. The other 
side. Look at that. This is much easier and much faster. And in the end, it's a better product, right? In the end, it's just a much better product. I think that worked out really good. And see how, see how that dark wood pops against this, the white, once there with all the trim and everything is on, that's gonna really look awesome. Okay, to finish the inside of these walls, so there's a lip there, there's a lip for this one there. So I may, I got these, it's one inch um, flat bar, and I drilled a hole there and there to put carriage bolts through. As you can see, this, I did the same thing right here. All right, the lip up, so you put it, put it the board in the lip on that side, put it here, and then this bar locks it in. Did the same thing on this side. There's a lip right there. Slide it in there, the lip. Put it in here, lock it in with that flat bar, okay? And then the outside, you can see, see like there's a flat bar. Now to drill this out to where this fits flush, you have to use this uh, step drill bit. If I can get it. See this step bit? And you wanna get it to where, drill it deep enough to where on your carriage bolts, see that square, the square piece? You wanna make it to where that square piece fits in there snug and your head won't go through. So that's essentially, it'll you'll cinch down on the metal. It'll be metal to metal. So that's usually keeps it from turning in the wood, whereas this, you're, you're, you're using that step bit, whatever I just did, using that step bit and you're drilling down just to where the, the top of the head won't go through, but that square part will fit snugly in there. And then you end up with this on the outside you can see you just, I, I use these acorn nuts because they look really nice, stainless acorn nuts, right, to secure everything. And of course there's one back in there. So on the other side, it, a real clean look as well because what you do when you, when you, when you get, use that lip over there, you know, I secure some with this flat bar as well. But when you got that lip over there, it helps you minimize the amount of fasteners because that lip acts as all your fasteners you need on that side. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. I'm gonna use the same style of wood, you know, sandwiching it. I'm gonna use that to actually fab up the back doors and the serving window and then this small square over here. This area that I fabbed up, this is going to be a, a door but you'll be able to open it up and have you a menu on that side. You know, it was a lot, it was a lot taller a door and I just took that out and uh, fabbed up a little smaller area to make it, make it fit the dimensions of the serving window and that be just to flow nicer, just for aesthetics.